What's up everyone, Dablade here with a hunter's guide to all the master rank event quests so far in Monster Hunter World Iceborne. This is covering all the master rank event quests for the holiday period of 2019 going into 2020. So this is going to be an incomplete event quest list as in 2020 we are going to get a lot more event quests to come. But when that happens I'll be sure to release an updated video. Anyway in this guide we're going to go over all the master rank event quests including the various requirements for the quests as well as their rewards. So first of all, for the Master Rank event quests, we have access to the Red Dragon. This is a unique event quest, as it's not actually a quest per se, it's classed as a siege. In this, players are required to hunt down and slay Safi Jiva in the secluded valley. But for this, hunters need to be Master Rank 24 or higher, as well as completed a few special assignments beforehand. Anyway, through the efforts of everyone in the Gathering Hub, players need to break various parts on Safi Jiva, as well as slay it, and as a reward, they'll get materials to craft the Safi Jiva armor sets, Palico armor sets, as well as earn Safi Jiva Awakened weapons. These Awakened weapons are unique in that they can be completely customized with various Awakened abilities, allowing for a lot of customization. Now, if you want more information on both the Safi Jiva Siege as well as the Awakened weapons, there are videos elsewhere on the channel, which you can access via the link down in the description below or the cards at the end of the video. Anyway, let's move on to the normal Master Rank event quests. First of all is Trophy Fishing, a 1 star Master Rank quest that requires hunters to be Master Rank 2 or higher. This has players taken on 2 Bear Todas in the Hoarfrost Reach. And as a result, players can earn themselves Freezer Tickets that can be used at the workshop to craft the Frozen Spear Tuner Greatsword. This is a unique and quirky strong Ice Elemental Greatsword. Next is the Lord of the Underworld Beckons, a 1 star Master Rank quest that requires hunters to be Master Rank 1 or higher. This has players collecting and delivering 20 underground fruit from the Rotten Vale. And for completing this quest, hunters will be rewarded with bonus hunter rank and master rank points. Next is the Pearl Snatchers, a 1 star master rank quest that requires hunters to be master rank 3 or higher. This requires players to deliver 10 Pearl Spring macaques from the Hoarfrost Reach. These are the little monkey things hanging around the various hot springs. So grab your capture net and bag yourself some. Anyway, for completing this quest, you'll get Pearl Spring tickets that can be used to craft the Pearl Spring Alpha armor set, which has one of the monkeys sitting on your head. It also provides you with recovery up as well as a few jewel sockets. Anyway, next is Desert Desserts, a one star master rank quest that requires hunters to be master rank one or higher. This has players collecting and delivering 20 hard fruit from the Wild Spire Waste. Again, nothing too special about this quest apart from bonus hunter rank and master rank points. Anyway, next is a bunch of sticks in the mud, a one star master rank quest that requires hunters to be master rank four or higher. This has players taking on two Bambaro in the Wild Spire Waste. This is a great quest for collecting Bambaro materials as well as bonus hunter rank and master rank points. Next is Hunter Blunderers, a 2 star master rank quest that requires hunters to be master rank 4 or higher. This has players taking on a Radaban and Viper Toby Kadachi in the special arena. Nothing too special about the rewards except for bonus hunter rank and master rank points as well as some monster tough bones for equipment upgrades. Next is a new troublemaker in town, a 2 star master rank quest that requires hunters to be master rank 4 or higher. This has players taking on an Anjanath and Bambaro in the ancient forest. Once again bonus hunter rank and master rank points upon completion. Anyway, next is the Colourful Carnival, a 2 star master rank quest that requires hunters to be master rank 6 or higher. This has players taking on a Zitsuyaku, Kuluyaku, Puke Puke and Coral Puke Puke in the special arena. And for completing this quest, again you'll get bonus hunter rank and master rank points, but this is also a quest to consider if you're looking for Fate Wyvern gems or you have limited bounties to take on Bird Wyverns. Anyway, next is Balloon Fight, a 2 star master rank quest that requires hunters to be master rank 6 or higher. This has players taking on a Paolumu and Nightshade Paolumu in the special arena. Now for completing this quest you'll get quite a few armor spheres as your reward which are used to upgrade your equipment. Anyway, next is Every Hunter's Dream 2, a 2 star master rank quest that requires hunters to be master rank 6 or higher. This has players capturing, not killing, a Coral Puke Puke in the Coral Highlands. And for completing this quest you'll get Wiggler Pots that can be used at the workshop to craft the Wiggler Palico armor set for your feline companion. Anyway, next and new is Duffel Duty, a 2 star master rank quest that requires hunters to be master rank 4 or higher. This has players collecting and delivering 8 duffel penguins in the Hoarfrost Reach. So grab your capture net and go to the various areas that you can find the penguins. Personally the best areas are near the camp in area 12 or to the east of the Hoarfrost Reach in area 7. Anyway, for completing this quest you'll get penguin tickets that can be used to craft the duffel penguin mask. 
which again is a quirky head armor that comes with the evade window skill and a tier 4 jaw socket. Anyway, next is a Sky of Sea and Fire, a 3 star master rank quest that requires hunters to be master rank 7 or higher. This has players taken on a Raphalos and Levasiov in the Elder's Recess. Again, nothing too special about the rewards except for bonus hunter rank and master rank points. Next is Soaked and Shiverin, a 3 star master rank quest that requires hunters to be master rank 7 or higher. This has players taken on a Coral Puke Puke and Legiana in the Coral Highlands. Again, for your rewards you'll get bonus hunter rank and master rank points. Next is a Curious Experiment, a 3 star master rank quest that requires hunters to be master rank 7 or higher. This has players taken on a Diablos and Nightshade Paolumu in the Wild Spire Waste. Unfortunately, still nothing too special about rewards except for bonus hunter rank and master rank points. Next is Fired Up Bruces, a 3 star master rank quest that requires hunters to be master rank 9 or higher. This has players taken on a Glavinus and Uragon in the Elder's Recess. Again, nothing too special about rewards except for bonus hunter rank and master rank points, although this is also a quest to consider if you need monster slog bones. Next is Every Hunter's Dream Free, a 3 star master rank quest that requires hunters to be master rank 9 or higher. This has players taken on a Nightshade Paolumu and Nagakuga in the arena. And for completing this quest you'll be rewarded with Black Eagle Blueprints that can be used to craft the Black Eagle Charge Blade as well as this upgrade, as well as upgrade the Wyvern's Ignition Greatsword. Anyway, next is In the Depths of the Forest, a 4 star master rank quest that requires hunters to be master rank 14 or higher. This has players taken on an Azura Raphalos and Fogor Anjanath in the Ancient Forest. And again, it's a way of farming bonus hunter rank and master rank points as well as monster solid bones. Next is the Desert Dash, a 4 star master rank quest that requires hunters to be master rank 13 or higher. This has players taken on a Black Diablos on Tigrex in the Wild Spire Waste. And for completing this quest you'll get bonus hunter rank and master rank points as your reward. Next is Servants of the Veil, a 4 star master rank quest that requires hunters to be master rank 16 or higher. This has players taken on an Ebony and Doggeron and Acidic Glavinus in the Rotten Veil. And again for completing it you'll get bonus hunter rank and master rank points. Anyway, next and new is Scores of Ore a 4 star master rank quest that requires hunters to be master rank 17 or higher. This has players taken on a tempered Bracadius in the Elder's Recess. And for completing this quest you'll get pickaxe tickets. These can be used at the workshop to craft the scavenger pickaxe longsword as well as its upgrade. This is a quirky looking longsword that looks exactly like a large pickaxe. The upgraded version has average attack, white sharpness, 30% base affinity, high hidden blast rating and 30 bonus defense. So one to consider if you're a longsword user out there. Anyway, next is talk about a party foul, a 5 star master rank quest that requires hunters to be master rank 19 or higher. This has players taken on a Seven Basil Juice in the special arena. After completing this quest you'll get quite a few armor spheres which are used to upgrade your armor. Next is We Free Kings, a 5 star master rank quest that requires hunters to be master rank 19 or higher. This has players taken on a Teostra, Kirin and Kushala de Aura in the special arena. Again, nothing too special about rewards for this quest except for bonus hunter rank and master rank points. Although it's a way to farm large elder dragon gems if you need them. Anyway, next is the Winter Blues, a 5 star master rank quest that requires hunters to be master rank 21 or higher. This has players taken on a Namiel and Velkana in the Coral Highlands. Again, nothing too special about rewards for this quest except for bonus hunter rank and master rank points. Next is a Reason Behind the Hunger, a 5 star master rank quest that requires hunters to be master rank 21 or higher. This has players taken down a Savage Devil Joe in the Elder's Recess. But unfortunately, again, nothing too special about rewards except for bonus hunter rank and master rank points. Anyway, next is RE, Return of the Bioweapon. RE stands for Resident Evil. This is the Resident Evil collaboration event with Monster Hunter World Iceborne, a 5 star master rank quest that requires hunters to be master rank 20 or higher. This has players taken on a Black Veil Valhazak in the Rotten Veil. But things are a little bit different here, as there is a mechanic that can turn you into a zombie. Basically this Black Veil Valhazak has a different form of effluvium, turning your hunters into zombies and changing things up quite a bit. Now again there is a dedicated video all about this event elsewhere on the channel, so I'd advise checking that out if you're interested in how the event quest actually works. But if you do complete this quest you'll be rewarded with stars, badges that can be used to craft the Leon and Claire full armor sets, various Resident Evil pendants and decorations for your room. Also for completing this quest for the first time you'll be given access to a few quirky zombie emotes for you to use. Anyway, next and new is a chilling entrance, a 5 star master rank quest that requires hunters to be a master rank 20 or higher. This has players taken on a Black Veil Valhazak and Velkana in the Ancient Forest. After completing this quest you'll be potentially rewarded with sealed dragon cloth. 
This can be used to craft the sealed dragon cloth alpha headpiece. This is an incredibly cool looking armor piece, which is pretty much a gigantic anime scarf. Anyway, this comes with resentment, and on top of that, it comes with two tier 4 dual sockets. Next is Into the Frozen Wilds, which is part 1 of the Horizon Zero Dawn's Frozen Wilds crossover event with Monster Hunter World Iceborne, a 6 star master rank quest that requires hunters to be master rank 24 or higher. This has players taken on as a Noga in the Horfrost Reach. After completing this quest, you'll get materials to craft the Storm Slinger prototype like Bogan, as well as a Focus Pendant. Again, there is a dedicated video all about this elsewhere on the channel. Next is The Survivor, which is part 2 of the Horizon Zero Dawn Frozen Wilds crossover event with Monster Hunter World Iceborne. This is a 6 star master rank quest that requires hunters to be master rank 24 or higher. This has players taken on a Stygian Zenoga in the Hallfrost Reach. And upon completion of this quest, you'll get materials to craft the Aloy Shield Weaver full armor set, Frost Claw Palico armor set, and upgrade the Storm Slinger prototype to the Adept Storm Slinger. Again, there is a dedicated video elsewhere on the channel if you want more information on this event quest. Anyway, next is the Moonlit Howl, a 6 star master rank quest that requires hunters to be master rank 24 or higher. This has players taken on a Zenoga in the Coral Highlands. And for completing this quest, you'll get bonus hunter rank and master rank points as your reward, but this is also a way to access Zenoga for new players who haven't quite unlocked him in the Guiding Lands yet. Next is I Am Tranquil, I Am Sound, a 6 star master rank quest that requires hunters to be master rank 24 or higher. This has players taken on a Yangaruga in the Ancient Forest. Again, you'll get bonus hunter rank and master rank points as your reward, but again, this is also a way of farming the monster if you haven't unlocked him yet. Next is Scars Tell the Whole Story, a 6 star master rank quest that again requires hunters to be master rank 24 or higher. This has players taken on a Scarred Yangaruga in the Ancient Forest. Again, bonus hunter rank and master rank points as your reward, but again, it's also a way to access this monster if you haven't unlocked him in the Guiding Lands yet. Next is a roar that splits the sky, a 6 star master rank quest that requires hunters to be master rank 70 or higher. This has players taking on a brute tigrex in the eldest recess. Again for completing this you'll get bonus hunter rank and master rank points and it's also a way of accessing the monster if you haven't leveled up the rotten vale region of your guiding land yet. Next is a glance of silver, a 6 star master rank quest that requires hunters to be again master rank 70 or higher. This has players taking on a silver raffalos in the eldest recess. Again, bonus hunter rank and master rank points as your reward, and it's a way of accessing the Silver Raphalos without having to first level up the Coral Highlands region of the Gaiden Lands. Next is the Moon is a Harsh Queen, a 6 star master rank quest that requires hunters to be master rank 70 or higher. This has players taking on a Gold Raffian in the Eldritch Recess. Again, bonus hunter rank and master rank points as your reward, and it's a way to farm the monster without having to first level up the Wildspire Waste region of your Gaiden Lands. Anyway, next is Razzled, Frazzled and Dazzled, a 6 star master rank quest that requires hunters to be master rank 24 or higher, and this has players taken on a Rajang in the Wilds by Waste. But unfortunately, nothing too special about rewards except for bonus hunter rank and master rank points. And finally, and new, is Muscle Monkey Madness, a 6 star master rank quest that requires hunters to be master rank 24 or higher. This has players hunting down two Rajang in the arena. And for completing this quest, players will be rewarded with buff tickets that can be used to craft the buff armor set. This is a funny looking armor set turning you into pretty much a bodybuilder that comes with a lot of offensive skills and quite a few jaw sockets to play around with. So there we have it, those are currently all the master rank event quests we have in Monster Hunter World Iceborne. As I said there are going to be more down the road and I'll be sure to cover them when they come out. Also a few notes, at the moment there are no layered armor forms of some of these headpieces unfortunately, but if we take a look at Monster Hunter World's track record they released additional event quests that allowed you to craft layered armor versions of these said headpieces. But what are your thoughts? What's your favorite event quest? Leave a comment down below and until next time, I've been Darplay bringing you a hunter's guide to all the master rank event quests currently in Monster Hunter World Iceborne. Hope you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching, subscribe and like for more.